from bow echoes to derechos, to pop-up storms to supercells. Do you know the difference between these types of storms? Let's get back to the basics. First off, we have a single cell thunderstorm. This type of storm is typically isolated, small, and brief. Single cell storms are driven by heating on a summer afternoon. We often refer to them as pop-up or garden variety storms as they are typically non-severe. As these single cells move into a more unstable or moist environment, they can create multi-cells. Multi-cells consist of a group of storms that are in different stages of their life cycle, but are moving along the same path. A multi-cell complex can last several hours and produce downbursts, hail, heavy rain, and lightning. Even a brief tornado cannot be pulled out. All right, all the ground, knocking down trees. Next, we have a squall line. A squall line can also be referred to as a quasi-linear convective system, or QLCS. Typically, these storms form in a line along an advancing cold front. As these storms become more organized, the most common threat is straight-line damaging winds. They can also produce torrential rainfall and even tornadoes. QLCS tornadoes are often brief, forming as the leading edge of the line runs into a sheared environment. It's right there. Most violent and large tornadoes are produced from our final storm type, supercells. Supercells are long-lived, highly organized storms. Their structure can be easily identified on radar. A supercell forms when the storm's updraft is tilted and rotating. These updrafts can be as large as 10 miles in diameter and 50,000 feet tall. A supercell can also produce destructive hail, damaging winds, torrential rain, and lightning, in addition to tornadoes. For the latest on which type of thunderstorm is in your forecast, the hazards it may bring, visit our website, weathernationtv.com. For Weather Nation, I'm meteorologist Elena Cameron.